residents here too, so coming. Skate shop track here in the International Futsal Arena in Birmingham. We've got Australia about to take on Ireland. Australia in the green and gold, Ireland in the white. And they're about to, about to start the first jump. I'm Beverly Crusher. I'm Bob Quickly. And we'll be with you for this. We have quite a large contingent of fans for each team here. Um, lots of people wearing green as uh, green is the default colour for the supporters of both teams. That's right, but the Wizards of Odds contingent over one side and the, uh, the Team Ireland contingent down this end. Absolutely, lots of tricolours. It's very lucky for the Irish supporters that St. Patrick's Day is on Monday, so they're able to get flags and bonnets and all of the all of the accoutrements of supporting for very little money, very easily in the pound shop. Brilliant. Australia has formed today. So far, they defeated Germany earlier today, 232 to 12. And Ireland were defeated earlier today by France, 145 to 30. Yeah, France turning out to be the strongest, pretty much the strongest team of, the, of this group, the blue group so far. They won both of their games, beating Germany uh, just a couple of hours ago by quite a large margin. 251 to 14, in fact. This is the Quad Skate Shop Track, uh, Europe's original bricks and mortar roller derby equipment supplier. Quad Roller Skate Shop has the best selection and most stock of any store on the continent. Excellent consultation services only a fellow skater can provide. We've got all your needs covered, and we love this game. We do love this game, and it is heading towards the start of the, of the game. And yes, I just to reiterate, Australia playing in the green. towards the, the first whistle of this game. Uh, officials, officials gathering in the center of the track, keeping an eye on their watches, ready to start this game. You can see the, it's nice to see the skaters on the jam line as well, greeting each other. Not far now from the start. You can see on the Australian JAMA helmet the uh, seven-pointed star, which is the Federation star, represents the six states of Australia and an extra point for the territories. All of a sudden, wearing that Australian JAMA panty right now. Opposing number on the Irish team is Raven Buster. And it looks like Oliver Sutton is through the back first of all. He is the lead jammer, but Oliver Sutton not lead jammer. In fact, Oliver Sutton has been sent to the box for a back block. So Raven Buster has a power jam. He's not lead jammer. It's going to go for full two minutes. Australian blockers right now. There's a three wall ahead of him. Four wall. Turning and facing there as he has one more blocker left to get past and he is three scored five points for Team Ireland. That Irish crowd is making us know. Absolutely. And uh, Raven Buster through for his second scoring pass. Again, one more blocker left to beat, and he's through. That is another grand slam for Raven Buster. First, first points on the board for Ireland. They're currently leading by 10 over Australia. Yet to score. As Alfred Sutton rejoins and heads for his initial pass through. He's 
all of a sudden comes from Perth Men's Derby in Western Australia. Right on the western coast. And interestingly, it's a 4,000 kilometre journey for Oliver to come and train in Sydney with the Wizards of Oz. That's dedication right there. You can imagine someone from Birmingham travelling to Baghdad for training. That's about the distance you're looking at. This next jam is brought to you by Green Monster Roller Sports. All new, visit us today, grnmnstr.com. Greenmonster.com. Lieutenant Jam, Jam on the jam line for Ireland right now. The Irish block is making their way up to the GB EMS pivot line. Still in the box. Blake Galar making his way back onto the track from the Rotterdam City. Lieutenant Jam picks up his first five points. Oh. Oh. Lieutenant Jam is the largest supplier of roller derby kit and merch they'll be bringing in this next jam and they're sponsoring the penalty box on this track. Ireland have taken the early lead in this bout. Australia without a jam on the track at the moment. All of a sudden he's about to make his way back on. Raven Buster jamming for Ireland. And all of a sudden rejoins the pack and there's a quite a race on. But Raven Buster makes it through first. He's the lead jammer, but we have jammer on jammer action right now. As Raven Buster is overtaken by Oliver Sutton and calls the jam. Great bursts of acceleration from the uh, the jammers on both of these teams so far. Yep, they both have quite a turn of speed. Bearing in mind as well, this is just their second, well, just Ireland's second game of the of the tournament. They've had quite a while to rest. They have still got one more to play. Um, quite a lot of games in this first day. I, I, I last game starts at eight o'clock this evening, local it's, time. It's a big, big day of roller derby. Absolutely. Sausage Rolls, number 11. He is the lead jammer right now. A fellow Tasmanian. Oh, are you from Australia? I didn't know. <laughs> Sausage Rolls being taken down by the Irish blockers. He's going to go right to the back of the pack. Start again to get through. Yep, as Raven Buster just keeps going all around the, all the way around. And he's called it off. I think he spotted that Raven Buster was heading through to score some points, and score he did. Looks like Ireland managed, still managed to pick up four points in that in that jam. The score at the moment standing at Ireland nine point, or Ireland thirty two points, Australia nine points. Again, it's all to play for. There is just five minutes gone in this jam. So the next jam is brought to you by GBEMS, the only UK, UK RDA endorsed medical team. Well, all of a sudden, pushing his way through the Irish block is there now. He's out for lead jammer. He's really using his extra height. Raven Buster still stuck, being stuck in the pack. He's just escaped for his, uh, from his initial pass. He's not your lead jammer. All of a sudden, finished his first scoring pass. He hit it and quit it, he, he took his four points and he pulled it. If you're enjoying listening to the feed, drop us a few dollars. Euros. Quid, pound, Shekels, euros. Whatever you got. Use, you the link, it. use the link on the broadcast page. It's split 50-50 between us and the team's travel funds. 
And bear in mind that some teams have traveled a very long way to get here. There are teams from Australia, teams from Japan, and teams from, us, from Argentina. Massive amount of a dedication to the sport and to their countries. Sausage rolls. He's out in front again. He is being happily received by Rafe Buster, but Rafe Buster is still having problems in the hat. Got the speed all right. I don't know how well you can see it on the feed. But you can see some of the Australian non-playing team members around dotted around the track at the moment, mirroring some of the uh, the calls put out by the bench team. Yep, it, it, it can be hard to see your bench you just get them when you're coming around the fourth corner. So it is always really good to see the signals reflected around the track. Irish fans yet again in full voice. The score stands at 13 points to Australia, 32 to Ireland. Ireland still have the advantage, but there's not much of an advantage there. And it's a scrumming pack. Yeah, Lieutenant Dam is all the way through the pack. And he has a power down at the moment. The Australian driver being sent to the box for a track cut. Chance for Lieutenant Dam to extend this lead for Ireland. The Irish block is then doing an effective job of clearing a path through for their jammer. And it looks like we are going to have a jammer switcheroo. Lieutenant Dam on his way to the box for a back block. And now we are being rejoined by Oliver Sutton. 24 points, the deficit for Australia here right now. And they're going to do their best during this power jam. Absolutely, 24 points is a fairly easy pick up on the power jam. I see some higher scores on individual jams yet this day. But it's a short one. But the, yeah, very, very short. Lieutenant Dam already back out on the track. Oliver Sutton encountering an Irish four wall. He's picking them off one by one, but he's been taken out and he's forced to recycle back behind the end of the track. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Dam has made it through for his scoring pass. And since both jammers have already been in the boxes jam, we do not have a lead jammer. This jam is going to go for the full two minutes, which is another 30 seconds or thereabouts left in this jam. The pack holding up now. Australia trying to bridge Lieutenant Dan back. As Oliver Sutton picks up another four points for the Australians. This is very tight stuff. There is a really close between the teams. It's going to be a really exciting fight. I cannot wait for the next 10 minutes. Oliver Sutton picking up another four points. And it's a star pass. Ab Norman now holds the, holds the jammer panty and he has picked up another four points for Team Ireland. It's too much excitement for me. Yeah, so still scoring really closely. Yep. Australia just, there with 12 points for the jam, Ireland with 13. Yep, just pulling away ever so slightly, just 20 points between the teams. And if you are following the action, send us, if you're, if you're having a, a pajama party in Perth, look us up on Instagram under MRDWC. Send your photos to us, and we may even share them on the feed. Lead jammer is Buzz for Australia. He threw that pack really, really quickly. Raven Buster jamming for Ireland, not lead jammer. Both jammers coming around the uh, turns one and two now. Yep, they're very, very close behind, but uh, as far as I can tell, Fuzz was already on his first scoring pass, but he holds when he sees the Irish jammer approaching the back of the pack. Fast Girl Skates is serving, serving skaters of all shapes and sizes since 2007. Visit www.fastgirlskates.com. One of my favourite beards wearing the uh, star bandy for the Australian team now. Yeah, there's been some fairly spectacular face foliage over the course of today. We've been hugely impressed by some of the teams. Australia's pretty good again, yep, absolutely that's, fabulous. That's your mum through for Lee Jammer. Is she? Electric, Electric Avenue jamming for Ireland is in hot pursuit, but still half a track between the two jammers. As, as your mum. Passes out and hits it, quits it on his way to the floor, and he picks up what looks like two points to me. Looks like 
flow two to me and managed to hold Ireland back to for, for no score in that jam. It all adds up. Two points here, two points there. Just and it's just 13 points separating the teams. This is going to be a very, very, very close bout. And the crowd are in control. They've actually quietened down because they're that excited. It's number 11, Sauce Trolls. Jamming for Australia. Lieutenant Dan wearing the, the jammer panty for Ireland. Sausage Rolls is uh, through. He's a lead jammer. Lieutenant Dan forced to recycle once again. Sausage Rolls is one of these skaters that's really able to put on a, a, a really great burst of speed straight out of the pack. And, so, and Lieutenant Dan is through the pack, but he's not your lead jammer. Sausage Rolls says four points will do me nicely. And uh, hits it, puts it, and holds the jam. Next jam is going to be brought to you by GBEMS, providers of event medical cover and ambulance transport across the UK, and they are here all day with their uh, team green. They're all got their own uh, derby names. They're really getting into spirit of the games. Some big hits there coming into the back of the pack again. Yep, Fuzz is jamming for Australia. And Raymond Buster. For Team Ireland, Raven Buster, a member of the MRDA board. Interesting fact about Team Ireland, if you didn't know, there's three players, including Captain Ab Norman from Plymouth, from Plymouth Roller Girls, which at the time of tryouts was actually all of the eligible skaters in Plymouth Roller Girls. And another star pass to Ab Norman. Of uh, passing out those uh, Australian Australian walls. But look at the narrowing of the scores now. What have we got? 42 and 45. 42 and 45, and there is just 16 minutes left in this bout, this half-hour bout. So it's all to play for. Right. Again, Australia playing in team are playing in green. Ireland playing in white. Just in case, it is very easy to get confused. See the Australians making their way up to the GBEMS pivot line. Yep, just two blockers left on the track. And your mum is out as the lead jammer. And Electric Avenue jamming for Ireland. But he's a good half a track behind your mum. I never knew my mum could skate that fast. Flaming could I take a hit there in the front of the pack. The two Australian blockers doing their best to keep that pack moving fast. That was a very solid jam from the Australians there. All of the bouts today are just 30 minute bouts with no timeouts and no official reviews. These 30 minute bouts are determining the starting order for tomorrow's full length bouts. Which will determine the placings for all five of the trophies on order. That's right, and if this group is the blue group, it is France, Germany, Australia, and Ireland. So at the moment, Ireland trying for an upset. upset. Sausage rolls around the outside. Yeah, Sausage rolls picking up lead jumper there, as Norman wearing the star for Ireland. And Sausage rolls is almost back on that Irish pack before they know where he is. That was some amazing skating from Sausage rolls to get through that pack so quickly. And he's out again, he has picked up Right, sure. For the Aussies, it looks like we're going to have a lead change. Looking at that scoreboard. And the Australians in the front. Very, very happy. Mm -hmm. As are those of you at home in your PJs watching on the feed. Just pulled up the jam. Taking another bunch of points there. I'm going to be watching this scoreboard carefully. Looks like not quite a lead change. Australia on 48 points. Ireland on 54. Skater Blue Streak with Fast Girl Skates, designers of the Blue Streak boot with an unparalleled comfort, fit, style and performance. And we're having an official timeout. 
official timeouts can be called in these bouts, but they will not stop the period clock. Exactly. The only reason a period clock will be stopped is for injury. So these are the kind of concessions that are made for the shorter bouts. The other concession is that it will only take four penalties to file a skater out, not the usual seven. The Men's Royal Derby Association would like to wish all the teams competing in the Men's Royal Derby World Cup the best of luck this weekend. The MRDA is the international governing body for Men's Flat Track Roller Derby and wants you to join them in the growing world of Men's Roller Derby. For more information about joining and the benefits of being part of the MRDA, visit them at mensrollerderbyassociation.com or send inquiries to info at mensrollerderbyassociation.com. Watching on the feed, do tweet us. It's at M or DWC or use the hashtag M or DWC, and you might even hear yourself shouted out on the feed. Again, we see the Australians skating up to the GPEMS pivot line to open up the pack for the start of this jam. And Lieutenant Dam spots a hole in the outside, and he gets through for lead jammer for Ireland. With only five points in this bout, your mum is skating around the back of the track now and he's going to be doing his best just to limit the damage from his Irish lead. Just two Australian uh, blockers on the, on the track right now, three Irish. Lieutenant Dan picks up his points and all the jam. As I was saying, we do have tweeters here. We are watching our feeds. Tweet your support. Tell us how you're enjoying the Men's Roller Derby World Cup so far. We would absolutely love to hear from you. If you're just joining us, this is Australia versus Ireland at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup Quad Skates Shop Track. Australia in the green and gold, Ireland scoring the white. Raven Buster jumping the apex there to gain a lead jammer status. Sausage rolls uh, taking a back block there. I've been noticing that the apex jumps always seem to happen right in front of where the fans are. So, uh, Raven Buster jumping right in front of the Irish of the Irish team, and massive roar from the from the supporters there. Are they lining up now. Just under 11 minutes left in this bout. And there is just one point between the teams. Australia on 54 points, Ireland on 55. I think this is one of the closest games we have seen all day. The crowd are on the edge of their seats. The, the benches are on the edge of their seats. We're all basically... I'm on the edge of my seat. Yep, I'm, I'm pretty sure I won't need my seat for much longer. As Matt Norman, hotly pursued by the Australian jammer, is lead jammer. They are racing neck and neck around the track and it is with. The, the Australians keeping things moving, trying to hold off Ab Norman as much as possible so that perhaps Fuzz can catch up with him. There's some serious speed going on for him. Ab Norman passes one skater, no passes, no skaters, but he pulls off the jam. That's one of the fastest jabs I've seen all day. I'm seeing two fingers held up there by the Irish jam ref. Uh, two, that makes, uh, that brings the lead to three points between the teams. This is when not it, much of a margin. When it gets down to taking one or two points and, and quitting, that's when you know you've got a good game of roller derby. Absolutely, every single one of these points counts, but these ones count more than most. Now, I'm not sure we have an underdog in this particular game. Nope. And a bit of a pile up in the back there. Lieutenant Dam trying his best to stay in bounds, but he heads out of bounds. He is off and on his way to the um, roller derby city penalty box for a minute. Meanwhile, your mum is out on his initial pass, but uh, he's got a no pass, no penalty, so but there is no lead jammer. So with a minute and a half left on this jam clock, he powers down to Australia. And they picked up five points. It looks like there could be a lead jam. This, this lead yes. change, this jam. That's right, there's the lead change. Bob to quickly smiles a little smile. The Irish wall not making it easy for your mum to get through. No. Irish, Irish boys are very fond of your mum and they like to keep her close, you see. 